In the world of viruses, not all strains are created equal. The Mpox virus, once confined to remote African regions, has evolved into two distinct clades, each with its own unique characteristics, risks, and global implications. But what makes these strains different? And why should we care? Let's break it down. Mpox, formerly known as monkeypox, has two main clades, or strains. The Central African, Congo Basin, clade, and the West African clade. These aren't just names. They represent fundamental differences in how the virus behaves, spreads, and affects human health. And as the world continues to grapple with the 2022 outbreak, understanding these clades is more important than ever. First up, the Central African clade, now known as clade 1. This strain originates from the Congo Basin, a region infamous for its dense rainforest and unfortunately severe viral diseases. Clade Y is the more aggressive of the two with a fatality rate of up to 10%. What makes this strain particularly alarming is its ability to spread more easily from person to person. In past outbreaks, clade one has been responsible for larger, more sustained outbreaks within communities. The symptoms? Expect more severe and widespread skin lesions and a higher likelihood of complications. On the other hand, we have the West African clade, now referred to as clade 2. This strain is predominantly found in countries like Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Clade second was generally less severe with a fatality rate between 1% and 3%. Outbreaks linked to this strain have historically been smaller, less intense, and more localized. But don't be fooled by its milder nature. This clade still poses a significant threat, especially as we've seen it spread beyond its usual geographic boundaries. To keep things clear and avoid geographic stigmatization, the World Health Organization recently updated the naming system for these clades. Clade I now refers to the Central African strain, while Clade Second represents the West African strain, with the latter further divided into clade Tuya and clade Tidubi. The recent 2022 global outbreak has been largely driven by clade Tsekyu, a subclade that has shown an unexpected ability to spread far beyond Africa, reaching Europe, the Americas, and other regions. Why does this all matter? Understanding the differences between these clades isn't just academic. It's crucial for tailoring public health responses, developing effective vaccines, and crafting targeted treatments. The severity of the disease, how it spreads, and how our bodies respond can all vary depending on the clade. In a world where viruses can jump from one continent to another with ease, this knowledge is power. So, as we continue to monitor Mpox and its evolving threat, remember that these clades are more than just names. They're a roadmap to understanding how the virus might behave in the future. Stay informed, stay prepared, and let's keep learning together. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth explorations into the world of viral outbreaks and public health. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below.